Hey there, it's Beta Squared. Welcome back to the gold mine of Earthbound on the SNES. We're gonna be doing more of this place. It's very almost quite finished because we have two more moles to deal with. I'm the third strongest of this hole, and obviously they're the third strongest of this hole. So apparently they don't really take well to PSI attacks, which obviously I should be completely aware of, but I'm obviously very not very good at this game, which is rather oh what oh i always forget uh okay you know what jeff you're fine you're you're fine you're fine because i just can just heal you with my magic as that's what they call it back in mother three oh hey look i i learn more stuff and things what is in this chest right here why do i call it a chest a guts capsule oh i have to use something i'm gonna use what do, what do I want to use? I want to use something. You know what, Jeff? You get this nice little calorie stick. And I get this nice little guts capsule. Uh, that I'm going to use immediately. Because that's how this works. Uh, let's just use it on Paula. Because her, her, her like defenses are... Wow, that's a lot of things. How did I get attacked first? How does it even make sense? Oh god. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Alright. You know what? Fire burns the rope, I guess. And you know what, Jeff, you are quite not in good shape, so I'm gonna have you use your HP sucker on Mr. Guys. Can I. Can I even do that? Oh, that's not even, like, good amount of HP recovery. Jeff, come on, please. Please, you gotta do better than this for me. So we're in the gold mine. It's like a magical cavey place. Caves are really incredibly common in video games, which I've noticed recently. I've missed quite a few presents in this dungeon. However, that's not that necessary, because the last Mr. Mole Man is down here where the snakes are, and I... Cannot avoid them for luck of me. Oh no, I don't like fighting the snakes. Oh god. Okay. I just want I get I want to get rid of them immediately because I don't want to deal with them at all. Like at all, and it's gonna kill me. Oh god. Oh please don't get poisoned. Oh you didn't get poisoned. Oh god. Why- why do my defenses always go down? Why am I so bad? Well, I'm not bad, it's more like RNG being a, like an ass kicker to me. A bomb! I can't even use it, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use a double burger on Paula. And what other goods do I have? A coin of slumber, cup of life noodles. I'm gonna use it on Jeff because I'm- I'm incredibly afraid uh, that I'm going to die down here and I don't want any of that. Why do I have to deal with hundreds upon hundreds of enemies that despawn magically? How wonderful. Thank you, game. You're being generous to me. And now there's a bunch of mad ducks. So we're gonna sap away my psychic points like no fucking goddamn tomorrow. I try to swear a lot, but like swearing is just in my vocabulary at this point. It's in my vernacular and I cannot do anything about it. And, uh, Mad Ducks, do you run away? You do run away, because you're afraid. And hello. Haha, you fought the strongest master of all. Oh, god damn it. I know you're the fifth, the third strongest. I think, by definition, the last one is automatically the hardest. And, unless I'm mistaken. Maybe they're all, all the... What do I have? Do I have a... No, I have a slime generator, a defense spray, a zip gun, a bomb. I don't want to use any of these because they're going to get me fucking destroyed. And of course, okay. I will make sure that I, you know, heal Paula immediately because Jesus, oh my god, she's going to die. Oh my god. Okay, you know, you know what? That was really easy and Paula didn't die. And that's what I like the most about this game. Not getting myself murdered, rather. Oh, hey, look, we're- everything's free. Luck capsule? That's what Paula needs. 
Because C needs the most luck. Oh my god. Why do I sound like an old Jean Jean video? Why? Platinum Band. Ooh. Uh. I'm gonna give that Platinum Band actually. Oh. No, I wanna give it to Paula because. Paula is weak. Paula is just. weak. Where is it? There it is. Alright. Now, let's life up Paula because. I feel like we should either walk our way out, or we should just, you know, explore the stuff in this cave for the rest of this episode. We're still- we're only like the six minute mark, which is not bad. I'm not sure if all the enemies have despawned in this cave. I feel like they haven't, although I'm not sure, because usually this game likes to throw curveballs at me, and it, 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 it's just not the way I've done stuff ever. Hey, look, there's that cave we didn't go down earlier because I was just... Oh, I don't... I think it actually did despawn every single enemy. Super Bomb, that is useful. I have to do organ... Inventory organization at some point later. I saw another present and then I'm gonna use Mr. Um... Uh, what do you call it? Mr. Exit Mouse to get out of this hellhole because nobody wants to be in here. Oh, a teddy bear. Oh, that's good. Ooh, what do I want to drop? You know what? Let's just... Let's just eat that. Let's just eat that. Because I'd rather have a teddy bear as a small little partner. Because teddy bears are going to be useful. Teddy bears are actually going to be really useful. And look how much faster we run. I wish we had, like, run on at all times in this game. Calorie stick. Eh. Eh. Alright. Where is our friendly neighborhood exit mouse? Let's just use that and get away. Perfect. Uh, oh, okay. You know, that's fine. That's acceptable. But hey! Oh, no! I don't think you can actually avoid this one. I forgot about Mr. Fuzzy Pickles Man. Fuzzy Pickles Man. I'm Insta Photograph Genius. Do say so myself. Hey, look at the camera. Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Oh my god. Remember when that was actually iconic? Remember when Ness said okay a lot in Smash Brothers and how much we hated it because everyone does it? We gotta get rid of the monster, good job, from now on, here. Find Barry Gold before I start singing. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, save, do my other stuff. Uh, PSI healing. Hey, let's do that because I don't want that deal with that. And hopefully, I should probably go to a department store, sell all my things, do all my stuff. Hey, it's your dad. Da 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 da. But but da 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 da. Huh. <sighs> you know, after like doing three recording sessions of this, I feel like, you know, it, it it's 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 not that great commentary, but like I'm trying my best here. But hopefully everything goes well. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Foreside, where I think the the plot progresses at some point, and, and then, you know, maybe that'll be the end of this session for now. This game does take its toll on me. It takes its time, actually. It's a very long game. It's a very, very long game. If only I didn't waste my skip sandwich right then and there. How magical. How magical. Do 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 do. I oh hey look what is that noise? Is that hey he's gonna give us a diamond I think. What does he have to say? Ness greetings. I'm George Toronto's brother. Blah 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 blah. However we did find a diamond instead. Here take it. Hooray! I like how they gave a kid a diamond. What the fuck? What the fuck? That is probably one of the most absurd things about this game. Yeah, kid! Oh, you helped us destroy all these things in the mine even though we're, we're grown-ass adults and we have explosions and, and stuff because it's the 90s? Nope! Here you go. Have a diamond. Have a diamond. You know what? Here, kid, have an end slate. Because that's how I'm ending this episode. We're gonna be going back to... The Topola building, I believe it's called, and then we're gonna progress the plot. 
we're gonna go then to the department store and hopefully we're not gonna get our asses kicked because oh put your uh, really really ugh <laughs> 